joining with the former diplomat deepak kora ji sir uh, the statement which has given by uh, the justin trudeau about india in which he alleged india uh, in case of uh, that uh, khalistan terrorist so in what way you are narrating it yeah. thank you very much always a pleasure to be on your amazing channel and let me tell you like this that justin trudeau the prime minister of canada he's not going to be around for very long so i call him just out trudeau he is a novice in international relations Prime Minister Narendra Modi at the G20 summit, where this man was totally isolated, nobody gave any attention to just out Trudeau. Prime Minister Narendra Modi gave him evidence of anti-India activities by Khalistanis over there. Three years ago, Justin Trudeau had come with a delegation to India, which included Khalistani. And we said, "You better curb their activities." Then he spoke to us and said, "We believe in freedom of expression." Now, when this person has been killed, this terrorist who was a designated terrorist, we gave him evidence. Then he goes back to India, thinking that. offense is the best form of defense and he tells his parliament that uh, we have decided to expel an indian diplomat and we have raised it very strongly because that terrorist was a canadian citizen etc in my career we too have asked diplomats to leave but we do it with a lot of maturity and grace we summon the ambassador we say your chap is not acting properly please ask him to leave we don't make an issue out of it if not today then tomorrow then day after this issue will be resolved but the bilateral relationship between india and canada is going to take a long time to recover let me just conclude by saying that trudeau was caught on camera some years ago mocking the then american president donald trump his relationship with the united states is very bad he has been abusing vladimir putin of russia the relationship is very bad last year in bali the chinese general secretary ding ling ding ling whatever his name is he gave a thrashing to uh, trudeau in public and now he has spoiled his relationship with india i don't know what is in his mind i believe that justin trudeau is canada's greatest enemy and we have quite appropriately rejected all the allegations that he has made he has hurt his country i am a 4 trillion dollar economy canada is 2 trillion i don't really care about canada he has no technology he has no investment nothing that he can give me so he is hurting himself he has called off his trade delegations visit for a free trade agreement for well, happy birthday go right let me just tell you that canada this man has shown total immaturity whereas in india we are probably the best in the world in diplomacy do you think that uh, why he has given such kind of a statement is there any 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 force behind yeah. it Uh, as you know that there are several members of his cabinet who are uh, known khalistanis and in fact his government survives with support from a khalistani political party he knows that the elections are coming he knows that he's going to lose he needs their support so he's giving them a message that i'm on your side don't worry just get me back inside and everything will be all right now that is a very very counterproductive approach to take because we have seen that these terrorists whether islamic or sikh or any other religion they bite the hand that feeds them and when they bite mr trudeau he won't have a doctor to repair his hand right and you listen very well that how the former diplomat termed it immature act by the justin trudeau ram kinkar singh for india